talking about this Swiss photographer who just came out with a book, kind of slams Las Vegas. It's called Insert Coins. He started taking the pictures in 2011, and the book just came out last week. It is trending. Uh, it's a big deal, and the pictures really paint Vegas in a, um, a very negative light. And the gist of the book is basically, look, um, Vegas, aside from the strip, it's a lot of failed dreams. It's a lot of drugs, a lot of alcohol, a lot of homelessness. Uh, and I got to tell you, I in just some of these pictures, they're great pictures in the sense the quality is great. It, they're interesting. They invoke emotion. Yeah, yeah. They really they they're they're great trending pieces. You know, they're very shareable for social media. But the entire theme of the book is just how trashy and polluted and awful and painful Las Vegas is. And I I was kind of going through it and I was like, this is very unfair. And so we we're just asking people, how would you describe Vegas, Melanie? Welcome to the show. Hi guys, how are you doing? Good. What's going on? Um, I am a teacher here in the Valley, and as much flack as everybody hears about teaching here, Vegas is literally one of the most diverse places that you'll ever be, and it's absolutely amazing. Anywhere you go here, you see all kinds of people. Everybody accepts each other. I've never seen any anything, you know, that like any hate here, and I've been here a long time. I've been here for 15 years, and I think it's amazing that everywhere we live, there's all kinds of people, even though... We have bartenders that are wearing nothing. That's a part of our culture. That's like a part of who we are. It's like we're accepting, you know. And even the homeless people, it's like a part of the people that live here. And we all just like love each other. And I think that's awesome. And I think that it's crazy that you can walk down the street and see a million different kinds of people all walking down the street together. Yeah. And I think that's really cool. And there's not many other places like that. Well said, Melanie. Appreciate the call. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Take care. Uh, yeah, she makes some great points. Makes some great points. Yeah. And I think this book goes above. Here's what it does. It kind of skips over the residents, and it more focuses on the people who got stuck here, which that has – you can't deny that. There are people that yeah. have come here for the whole gambling yeah. drink, and we're going to win mega bucks and sail off into the you know the well, Caribbean. There, and there's also a bunch of people who came here uh, looking to get in the entertainment industry, whether right. it's on the strip or whatever, right. and it didn't quite work out, and now they're stuck here. Too. I see those girls bartending and mixing and DJing down in Fremont and stuff, and I'm like, you know what? Good for them. They're hustling. They're making something happen. Have oh, you seen their tip jars, by the way? Yeah. Stuff. That's what I'm saying. They're hustling. They're working. Yo, Eric, what's up? Hey, man. How's it going, guys? Good, buddy. What do uh, you got? I don't have quite a bubbly as an outlook on it as Melanie just did. Um, I was born and raised here. I was just a little kid during this Palatro and Rosenthal days, but uh, the end of Casino summed it up perfectly. Uh, I remember my grandparents and even my parents when they went out you know, for a night for dinner, you know, they got dressed up to go out on the strip and now it's uh, tank tops and board shorts. And I'm actually sitting in the car with my six year old daughter getting ready to drop her off at first grade. And I definitely don't want her being a bartender wearing nothing. So, um, you know, I kind of have two sides of it. I love this city, but also I do see it as a transient place where people get stuck and dreams get crushed. Um, and definitely don't want my little girl exposed to it if she gets older. Now, would you are, would you consider moving when your daughter gets older? Yeah, yeah. I went to college in Seattle, so I got away for four years. But this place has a way of pulling you back, and yeah. uh, and I came back. And um, but yeah, I've already you know when she's junior high age, um, I'm thinking about going back up to Seattle. So you would say this book is kind of a fair representation. Well, I, I agree with you that um, it, it's taking just one look at it and, and just one section, and, and he's looking at the transient side of it. People do come here hoping for something and then end up losing everything when, when they didn't have much to begin with, and they get stuck here. A lot of people are here, you know, because they have no way of getting back to where they came from. Like I said, it's a very transient city. A lot of people move here to try to get a job. Like you said, in the entertainment industry, it doesn't work out. And then they're stuck here. Um, no way to get back. Um, but, yeah, I mean, you go out into the suburbs. I live in Green Valley Ranch. It's beautiful out here. Uh, but you go down to Casino Center, uh, you know, just a little bit off away from the Fremont Street experience, and it's, it's a whole different world. Yeah, whole nother, whole nother world. Thank you uh, for the call, Eric. Appreciate that, man. Hey, no problem. Have a good one. You too. Good luck to you, buddy. Thanks. Tell you what, though. Buy a hell of a house here for a good price.
Yeah, the housing trust, market's like crazy affordable. Trust a guy who just moved here from Washington, D.C. You can buy a hell of a house here for yeah. a good price. I mean, there is a lot of upside potential. And I just, the only reason I, I really wanted to bring it up is because I just thought the book, it was so focused on the negative. And it was so focused on the few amount of people that fall into the trap. I thought it was sort of unfair. Because, yes, there are people that fall into that trap, but there's people that fall into that trap in New York and L.A., right. you know, Chicago, there, there everywhere. There are pockets in yes. every major market, and uh, you'll see a lot of the same stuff. It's just in other cities, you don't see commercials for those cities. Right. So when you're in New York watching a football game, you don't see a commercial for a hotel in Chicago just right. for the hell of it, right? Just, hey, come to Chicago. But you do see commercials for hotels on the strip and in Vegas. And everything's all bright, new, yes. shiny, everyone's smiling, everybody's That's the winning. Yep. And everyone... It's like all the marketing makes it a target. But great calls, and uh, it's an interesting book, if nothing else. If you want to check it out, it's called Insert Coins.